Hey guys, it's Lisa here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really neat hack that will help you lock images in place in Google Slides. I know that this is an option that's available in paid softwares, but it is not an option that's available in Google Slides. However, there is a way around it because, you know, we like to keep things free. Okay, so I already have open here an untitled presentation. Uh, what I'm going to do, and you know, you can also, if you wanted to just have something locked in the background, you could always just go to background and Google image search or pull something up from your computer. However, we all know that the options are limited when you search that way. So I went to Google images, okay? And I just found like a pretty colored background that I wanna use. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and I'm going to paste this into my slide presentation. Okay, and then I'm just going to expand it to the size that I want. Just want to make sure that it's going to be exactly the way that I want it locked in there. So I want to make sure that it's filling up the entire presentation area. Okay, and from here, all you're going to do is you're going to come up to where it says file. You're going to go to download and you're going to download it as a, a JPEG or a PNG, whatever. Um, just downloaded mine as a JPEG. Okay, then you can just delete what's here. Don't worry about it. We don't need it. You're now going to go to background here. You're gonna to go to choose image. I'm going to browse, because I'm gonna upload it from my computer. Okay, and I believe that either went to my desktop or downloads. So I'm just going to check the downloads here. Okay, it's right here, very first one. Okay, so that's going to pop up. I'm gonna hit done. And as you can see, I'm trying to move it. It is now locked in place as if it was a background. So if you're doing something where you wanted to add, let's say a graphic of um, a map or a math question, and there are pieces that you do not want students to move around, a way around doing it is to just set it up on the slide exactly the way that you want it. Then you're going to download that slide as an image. This way, when you go back in, you can upload it as a background. I hope that this video helps all of you. If you have any questions, comment down below, but do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that notification bell. We don't want you to miss my future videos. Take care, everyone.